It's your boy Gruff here, back with another video, and today I got special for you guys, man. Today we're gonna be revisiting the Underground Go series. Revisiting, I said revisiting twice. Green Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. Now, when she first came out, her VB ran the second anniversary. The way they was able to prioritize and abuse their strike or their blast armor and just how fast both of them could just farm rising rush because BB just got so many strike cards every time you use the strike card and she has permanent card draw speed. You couldn't stop them. Uh, once they got you in a combo bro like they just run a strike based team bro there was hardly any really strike cover changing units at the time. It was farming rising rush left to right and checking her out I want to revisit her because USS is getting some some love, bro. And I was like, bro, let me just rock her on USS, bro. Like, I'm gonna rock her on the leader slot because her Z ability only does girls and future warriors. So I wanted to rock her on USS because why not, bro? I know Barbara Bar is gonna be pissed at this video, but I had to revisit her, bro. I just wanted to try her out and see does her strike damage still is still effective or not? Who knows? We just gonna see in this videos, right? These, these four matches, right? So first match, blue, blue, purple, no, blue, double, purple. I don't even know, like movies, I guess. That's what it is, movies. So we are, you know, see, we do have two have two purples on there, but you know, when he goes to the Vegeta side, right? Cause he needs someone to counter against the Goku, because the Goku is just a busted unit. Right. So when he goes to Vegeta, Green Kepler is gonna be advantage against two of the units, right? So they actually brought Jiren as well, just in case he rides and rushes, bro. We can also prioritize uh what's the name we can also prioritize blast normal with him as well too and then he has an aoe green card which is pretty nice so one thing i like about kale though is every time she gets hit she gets damage afflicted buffs now the tag she buffs doesn't really help the unit that's in here because he does girls fusion wars and she does uh girls fusion wars and then she does universe six which none of the units i'm rocking fits those criteria, right but if you just prioritize her blast on bro she's always gonna get damage afflicted buffs every time so if when someone uses a blast just use just power through the strike uh do the strike uh blast armor cancel thing and just keep giving damage afflicted buff so right here i attack immediately he does have the time stop which is really nice i sized up there he goes with a blast we're gonna get damage afflicted buffs right there so prioritizing the damage like right now for strike damage i mean the blast damage is terrible because she's a strike based unit right but she does do extra damage against character goku which is pretty interesting because the best unit in the game is a goku character so that's something that you guys can also know as well that she does do extra damage to character goku so he's trying to farm for a pv he gets the pv but he tapped me there instead of attacking right so he goes to revival gohan i instantly pop his first life because i'm not scared of revival gohan at all like every time i see revival gohan i am happy that people are bringing him because i can just demolish him he's just not that unit like he once was he was He's not that unit like he once was. So I tap him there, I go with the strike, and I do a strike cancel because I knew he was gonna go to Ultra Gogeta because he's a strike based unit, he has strike cover change. So I go to Kepler here, I instantly pop the main ability because I know that he's gonna go to Vegeta for the strike cover change, and every time she comes into battlefield, she switches all your blast cores into strikes. So there's a lot of strike based units, strike cover change units in the game. I instantly pop the main ability, and it does take out Vegeta, which is pretty nice, really good damage there. He tackles me, I'm waiting for him to use a tackle or a blast because I have strikes, right? So I'm just showing you guys the strike damage because permanent card draw speed, she gets extra strike damage every time she uses one for 10 timer counts, bro. So her strike damage does scale up as she continues the combo. So I pop the main ability here because whatever he swapped into, they was gonna die. Revival Gohan was gonna die. Ultra Gogeta was gonna die. So he kinda knew what was up. He DC'd, I mean not DC, but forfeited. And we got the dub. And Kale did look, I mean, not Kale, Kepler did really good. Really, really solid. Pretty solid, not gonna lie. So, next match, facing against P.O. So, he's rocking Bojack, Cell, and Frieza. Now, both Frieza and Cell does destroy Dragon Balls, which is kind of annoying, right? Because uh, if, if I don't if I don't use my rush as like quickly as possible, bro, and he just keeps switching in and out, like, they, I think them two together can destroy five Dragon Balls. Which is pretty uh, ludicrous. I think Frieza does three, and then Cell does two. If it's not five, it's two. Then it's four. So I'm chilling here with Bagamo because if I go to Kel, I'm at type disadvantage, right? So he goes to Bur uh, he goes to Bojack, and that's the person I want to rush. I want to rush Bojack because 
he is the type of advantage against the Goku, and Goku is the best unit on my team. And if we do kill him, we do have a yellow against Cell, and then we have a red against Frieza. So that's the person I would like to rush is Bojack. So I stay in there because I thought he was going to sidestep, but he attacks immediately. So I'm just trying to fill out his playstyle. And I'm just waiting for him to pop his main ability. Now, this guy holds on to his main ability, like his, uh, his Awakened card for Bojack, which is interesting. Like, he doesn't pop it instantly, but he goes with a strike there. And I just blast on my way through with another strike. And I believe I stay in with, with Kefla and I pop the blast and he goes to sell, right? Like that was a really perfect play for you to go to sell. So he attacks immediately. I prioritize my blast armor. Like I said, I go to strike there and then I go to Calvin Goku and instantly pop the rest because I know Bojack is not in back in the field, right? And if I did use another card, Freeze was going to destroy my Dragon Balls. So that's why I had to pop that rush immediately. And we don't get guessed there. We take out Freeze. That's not the person I really wanted to rush. Kind of actually the least amount of the least character that I wanted, the least unit that I wanted to rush was him out of Cell and Bojack and him. So I just have to take what I have to take, right? So he tapped me there and I couldn't really do much. He pops the rush. I can't, I couldn't really do much. I just have to just eat the rush with Bergamo. Hopefully Bergamo tanks this, bro. But looking from the strike damage of Cell. It looks like Bergamo is not going to survive right there. I thought he was, but he has a lot more strike cards in his rush than normal. So Bergamo dies, right? So that kind of sucks. So I am type, type disadvantage, bro. Purple Cell against Kefla. Red Bojack against Kyle and Goku. So right here, I have to prioritize and power to my cargo speed to farm my second rush, bro. So that's what I'm doing with Kefla, bro. Kefla is doing some really good strike damage against Purple Cell. You know, Purple Cell is not a bad unit. And she's doing that against tight disadvantage. I pop the main ability just to see if I can get a fake going, hopefully, because she does get 30% chance of faint when she pops the old card when you land the old card against a unit. So I pop the old card, hopefully, I can get faint, which I believe I do not get. So he pops the blue card, which I was interested in, and he still has not popped. He still has not popped his what's name, his old card. So I attack there, and this is a perfect time for him to use his old card. Amazing. He attacked me there. And I was expecting him to use a strike card there. I, that's why I swapped to the Kyle King Goku. Because I thought he was going to go to the strike card. So then I could just deny his combo there. But he was able to pop the blast and pop the waking card. So I know that Kyle King Goku is going to get one help. So I instantly popped the main ability. Because I don't want him to get tapped. Because if that happens, then I lose the game. So he goes to sell. I'm very surprised why he went to sell type disadvantage. So I tap him out there, get his advantage. I pop the blue card. He pops his old card thinking I was going to attack him, and then I get the PV there, and I take out Cell. That was a bad play on his part. Terrible play. So, right here, I try to attack immediately. He instantly goes with a green card, so I was thinking that he was going to go with, like, a blast or a strike, so I could prioritize Kefla's, uh, Kefla's blast on the right, but he kills him there. And look how, this is why Ultra Kyle and Goku is the best unit in the game. I had to just include this because Kefla did do her thing. I just want to show you guys this ending with Kyle from Goku. I know this is not his showcase, but this is what like this is the reason why he's the, he's the best unit in the game. Like I made sure I combo drop on purpose. I sized up. He didn't attack immediately. So right now I get my banish back. I get my banish back once, right? So chaining these cards again. I chain these guards again. I, I combo drop on purpose. I sized up again. Get my banish back right here after this charge step. I believe. I believe after I pop this blast card. I charge to get my key back once again, right? Get my vanish back once again, pop the green card. I see him attacking, instantly go with the blue card. And then I think I go with the blast card because he plays aggressive and we get the dub right there. Talking Goku is the best unit in the game. You guys cannot tell me that Ultra Gogeta is better than that. You can't. Ultra Gogeta cannot do that, bro. He just cannot do that. <laughs> Ridiculous. But Kappa did her thing. Definitely did her thing. But let's go to the next match. So we are facing early pvp right so we're going to face some wonky teams not really the meta teams but we're facing all kind of we're facing a frieza saga team two goku units remember she does do extra damage to goku so i did want it to include this match just to show her the damage that she does against goku and look at the damage she is taking now one thing about her is i believe she does not have a way of getting reduced damage and if she does get reduced damage in her kit is very very low that's one thing i noticed about her like just using her her defense is not good like her like once she gets a combo on her bro like it's basically over with that unit bro like see her defense is not good but her strike her her her, her strike attacks is really good though it's not it's really promising so i go to the 18 
18 does provide some type of support, right? Every time she switches out, gives some damage with the buffs to her ally members. So I pop the main ability, I mean the rush right there, and he goes through the purple Vegeta. So I'll actually take my Rise of Rust against the purple Vegeta because I'm showcasing a green unit, right? So the damage that we do from the rush does kill this Vegeta. And what I do here is I try to stay in with green Kefla just to show just how if you if you can really prioritize Blast Thumber, bro, like she's only going to get stronger because every time she gets hit, she gets damn inflicted buffs, and every time she uses a strike card, she's getting buffs as well. So I just use the Blast Thumber there. Remember, she gets card draw speed, so she gets her deck, her cards built up a lot faster. So I took out Namagoku. He goes there, goes to Blast Thumber once again. I'm getting stronger every time I every time you hit her, right? So I bought the strike card there, then I finish it off with the old card. Just a little quick match right there. I just wanted to show her like me prioritizing her blast armor and everything and how she just gets a ton more damage every time she gets hit now if she was to get a zenkai it'll be very very uh it'll be very very crazy because all she really needs bro is ridiculous defense she already has blast armor she gets damage every time she uses a strike bro she gets damn deflected buffs every time she gets hit really what she needs is just defense if she has some ways of getting defense maybe some ways of getting key when she enters the battlefield or maybe maybe for her main ability she nullifies special cover chain bro so she can do these long strike combos because there's just so many strike cover changing units in this game that it's hard for you to do like six strike cards in a row so last match facing up against uh fusion so now he counters my whole team i was not expecting him to bring super vegeto and i was not expecting him to bring red gogeta i thought he was gonna bring g4 and ultra gogeta but i was wrong so right here i just started to switch out a lot quicker because i want i want to get him out that rotation of me him color counter me so he gets with the green card there doing the extra damage so i'm even his name with calvin goku for a little bit before i go to green Kefla because once he goes to super vegeto I can go to Jiren because he was not expecting Jiren to be back so soon. So I'm trying to get out of that color counter thing where whenever I have Jiren, he can bring in the move, right? That's what I'm trying to get out of. So I attack there, I sidesteps, he PV's me there, and I'm starting to understand when he sidesteps when I play aggressive. So I kind of have to play less aggressive and be a little bit more patient. So he goes to the regular Jiren. I take the damage with Jiren. I'm glad we didn't get faint because we got faint at that out of in game. So I go to Kefla. He tapped me there. I thought he was gonna go for the size up again. So I'm just, you know, filling him out. He did tap me, so I get extra damage with the bus with Kefla. And he does go uh, uh, approach me as right, right there. So I do chain in with Kefla. And Oob does reduce your, he does seal your strike cards for a little bit. So I did pop the main just to see if I can land the feint against Super Vegito. Cause if I land the feint against Super Vegito, that helps me a ton because I'm trying to showcase Kefla. This guy is a strike cover change purple unit, bro, like literally shuts down Kefla. So right there, I land a strike card with Ultra Kyle Ken, and then I believe this after this strike card, I was like, let me just instantly pop the rush because if I do rush, he might go to super, the red Gogeta. So that's why I went with Jiren, so I could stay tight neutral and not tight disadvantage if he does go to the red. So I know Ooh was out, so I can bring in Jiren. That's why I brought in Jiren. He let Super Vegito die, which is good because I can showcase Kefla for the remaining of the video without having someone that's type type advantage against her. So he pops the blue, I mean the green card with Oob, so I instantly went back and attacked immediately. Then I popped the old card with Jiren just to get some damage going. Like I might as well go and stay with Jiren and pop the old card because it's to get the extra damage right. So really close to popping Oob's first life. I, it was really close, but uh, not enough. So I think I go to Kepler here and I tap and I attack immediately which he kind of was patient, he kind of hesitated a little bit, and I took advantage of it. So I'm just chaining these cards with Kefla, bro. Look at these strike cards, bro. She's just doing some strike cards now. Right here, like this Gogeta is definitely tanking his, her damage. Like, I thought I was gonna do a little bit more damage, not gonna lie, bro, but, you know, like that's what happens when you age, bro. That's what happens when you age. You're not gonna do as much damage like you once was. So I sized up there, I go to Jiren, and I pop the green card. So I destroy all his cards. I go with the blast cards because Lou does not have blast cover change or nothing. He just seals strike cards when he cover changes. So some really good damage against Gogeta. I'm just trying to get my what's the name back? I'm just trying to get another combo or priority going, right? So he goes to Oob and he just chain it because type disadvantage, right? And I don't think Oob kills Jiren, right? He does not kill Jiren right here. So I go to Kefla and I waited for him to use a blast card. So I pop the blue card to pop its first life. And now if he does try to play aggressive, 
I can try to prioritize my strike cover chain. But I did tap him out there. He does size the and then I go to strike card immediately, letting Kepler eat all this damage. And I believe I go to Kyle and Goku just to see if he had another strike card. He was going to change another strike card, which I was right, which he did there. So I go with the strike, and I size them immediately, and then I attack, get the free combo going. And I'm just trying to use Kyle and Goku's card draw speed so I can just go back into Kepler. I want to see what Kepler can do. We already know how busted Kyle and Goku is. So I combo drop there, wait a little bit to size up, size up twice. Then I was able to go to Kefla once again, pop the green card to get some extra damage and healing, and then just prioritize the cover change. I mean the, the the card draw speed. So Ooh does lock in my strike card, so I have to tap him out there. I waited for him to use a blast card mid-range, which he does. So they would take out Oob. And now we just have Gogeta. And I believe I just I just popped the blue card there, right? And I think this game, or right here is game. I think I just sized up immediately and get the dub. So Kefla did pretty good you know she is a little bit outdated but she definitely needs defense if she does get a zenkai she'd be definitely scary so hope you guys enjoyed this uss girls and fusion warriors really good tags right there besides girls but like comment subscribe be my girl man i'm out peace